At this stage, the pressure reduction valve is closed. The P1 pressure gauge shows that the valve's upstream pressure is high, while the downstream P2 pressure gauge indicates that the consumer supply line is empty. The user gradually turns the pilot adjusting bolt clockwise. The pilot plunger is pushed downwards, causing a pressure drop in the valve's upper control chamber. This results in the gradual opening of the valve and filling of the consumer line. The downstream pressure stabilizes at the P2 gauge green zone. As shown on the chart, flow through the valve at this stage is constant and the P1 upstream pressure is reduced to the required green zone settings of the P2 downstream pressure gauge. When consumer water demand is reduced, the pilot responds immediately. The plunger moves slightly upwards, the pressure in the upper control chamber increases, and the valve closes slightly. The valve's operation stabilizes, and as shown on the chart, the downstream P2 pressure line remains stable during a drop in the flow, while the P1 upstream pressure increases. Additional reduction in consumer demand results in additional increase of the P1 upstream pressure and further reduction of the system's flow. Note that the downstream P2 pressure remains stable at its green zone settings during this entire process. Further reduction in demand for water, right down to zero demand, results in full closure of the valve. As presented on the chart, when the flow is zero, the upstream pressure is very high, and although the valve is closed, the downstream pressure remains stable at its designated set point. When demand increases again, the pilot responds relative to demand level. The plunger moves downwards, the valve gradually opens, and downstream pressure remains stable. On the chart showing increased flow, upstream pressure drops, while P2 downstream pressure remains in its green zone at set point level. At this stage, P1 upstream pressure decreases. There is a slight reduction of flow, but P2 downstream pressure remains stable within its green zone settings. As shown on the chart, at this stage, flow through the valve is constant. P1 upstream pressure is reduced to its regular green zone settings and P2 downstream pressure remains stable. In the event of a major drop in upstream pressure, the valve opens fully in order to supply the maximum possible pressure to the consumer pipeline. In this way, the valve ensures continuous water supply even if pressure is below the desired level. When upstream pressure rises again, the valve responds by gradually closing slightly, thus maintaining P2 downstream pressure within its green zone settings. As shown on the chart, the valve maintains a constant downstream pressure even when the upstream pressure rises to a very high level. As illustrated in this film, the Burmad pressure reducing control valve reduces higher upstream pressure to lower constant downstream pressure regardless of fluctuating demand or variations in upstream pressure.